In parts one through four, the Jewish people are in fact Ukrainians from an area formerly called Khazaria, as attested by their own Jewish historians, scholars, and rabbis. The Palestinians, on the other hand, have a different story. Historians state that when Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 AD, that Rome allowed a small segment of Hebrews to remain, namely servants and farmers, besides the ones captured and the ones who fled into Africa and Arabia. These peoples would eventually incur some mixing with other groups who conquered Palestine, in particular the Ottoman Turks. To this day, the groups of people who occupy Palestine is a combination of the descendants of Ottomans and the original Hebrews, who are labeled as Afro-Palestinians. The African presence is still visible in Israel today. There are thousands of African Palestinians who live in Israel with deep roots to the land, whose ancestors date back for centuries. I met with Ali Jadah, tour guide, and the informal mayor of the African Palestinians in Old Jerusalem. I asked him about his life and relations between the Afro-Arabs and the Jews. Well, life for him, I think it's the hell. I'm one of those people who had experienced that. To be Palestinian, that's a big problem. But to be a black Palestinian, I'm quite convinced it will be the hell. Because uh, as a black Palestinian, I am uh, double oppressed. Double oppressed by the Israelis. In what way? In what way? I will explain. First of all, they, first of all, they oppress me as a Palestinian. You see. Uh, secondly, they oppress me because of the, my color. Whenever I go around in the Israeli side, they call me Kushi. Kushi means nigger. Kushi means nigger. So, in Israel, the land of God, people who are the brothers of the Arabs, two brothers, you are called nigger as I am called nigger in America? Uh, let's say on the surface, uh, this is what they say, that this is the land of God and uh, we are cousins and there should be total equality. But once you come to the practice, when you come on ground, you will find that there is a lot of discrimination and there is a real divorce, a real divorce uh, between what they say and what they exercise. Blacks and whites who watch the show say, so why stay? Why stay when you are called nigger every day? Why stay? when you were denied your rights? On the contrary, uh, they never, they, the more they humiliate me, the more they oppress me, the more I stick to my land, because this is my land. I'm so rooted, we are deeply rooted as Africans, as Palestinian Africans in this land. And we know pretty well that our ancestors, I'm talking about thousands and thousands of years, we had been here in this country, but they were spread away, taken to Africa, from Africa to the United States. <laughs> Our ancestors, I'm talking about thousands and thousands of years, we had been here in this country, but they were spread away, taken to Africa, from Africa to the United States, 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 from Africa to the United States.